election season and a lot of focus will be on the southern state of Telangana. Bharatiya Janata Party's nominee, Raja Singh, came riding a royal and field bullet to file his nomination for the Ghosh Mahal Assembly constituency at the returning office in Abid. This was on Saturday. Senior BJP leader, Union Information Broadcasting Minister Anurag Singh Thakur also participated in this uh, rally organized in his support. Remember, this comes weeks after BJP revoked the suspension of T. Raja, who had been suspended due to controversial remarks that had come in lower tones. In a recent statement, Raja Singh had also criticized Asaduddin Ovesi, who is the member of parliament from Hyderabad, from the AIMIM, for allegedly selling minority votes. He accused Ovesi of first selling votes to Congress party and now to the BJP, also claiming AIMIM does not even have the strength to field candidates against him. Remember, Telangana will be crucial for the BRS, the Congress and also for the BJP. अभी तक बीआरएस से कोई कैंडिडेट डिक्लेयर नहीं हुआ और ना ही एमआईएम से हुआ कांग्रेस का कोई हमारी महिला बहन है जिसको कहीं नहीं मिला उनको एक डम्मी के रूप में विधानसभा में मेरी विधानसभा में दे दिया गया लेकिन सोचने वाली ये बात है कि लगभग मेरा प्रचार प्रारंभ हुए 11 दिन हो चुके हैं लेकिन ना बीआरएस में और ना ही एमआईएम में अभी तक किसको कैंडिडेट रखे घोषा मेल विधानसभा में उनको कोई कैंडिडेट नहीं मिल रहा है दूसरी बात पूरे तेलंगाना में बीआरएस के सारे के सारे कैंडिडेट डिक्लेयर हो गए एकमात्र घोषा मेल विधानसभा में ये लोग कैंडिडेट डिक्लेयर नहीं कर सके और इनको नहीं मिल रहा कैंडिडेट जिसके नामांकन में ही इतना हजूम हो जोश हो और जीत की पूरी संभावनाएं हो और प्रण लेके युवा निकल पड़े हो उस बदनाम सरकार के खिलाफ और भ्रष्टाचारी सरकार के खिलाफ जिसने 10 साल पहले युवाओं से वायदा किया था कि एक लाख नौकरियां देंगे नहीं दे पाए कहा था बेरोजगारी भत्ता देंगे नहीं दे पाए जिन्होंने डैम बनाने तक में हजारों करोड़ की लूट की जिन्होंने अनुसूचित जाति के परिवारों को भी दस लाख रुपये देने के वायदा किया था नहीं दिया जिसको दिया उसमें से तीस परसेंट कमीशन खाया और जो गरीबों को पक्के मकान दो दो कमरे के बनाकर देने की बात करते थे वो नहीं पूरा कर पाए ऐसी सरकार के खिलाफ नीचे बहुत आक्रोश है बीआरएस के खिलाफ but it's clearly war for state of Telangana that's now heating up taking a dig at Telangana chief minister KCR Congress launched a creative campaign and it said bye bye KCR in Hyderabad look closely highlighting graft charges under KCR government Congress painted names of all the alleged scams that happened in the regime and took out a pink ambassador and it's not coincidental ambassador is the party symbol for brs and the color pink is also connected often to the party and it's all on in its campaigns now 420 was given as the number plate congress netas are accusing kcr of being the most corrupt leader and criticized the allocation of state funding to his family members early this morning cops on election duty even inspected kcr's election vehicle Election Commission officials uh, conducted a thorough check of the bus named Pargati Ratham, where uh, KCR was travelling from one location to another to address an election rally. Telangana Pradesh Congress Committee has started a bye bye KCR Panchar Sarkar campaign here in Hyderabad's Gandhi Bhavan. Uh, we are right now at this uh, point where the campaign has begun. As you can see at this side, uh, a vehicle, an ambassador vehicle, which is uh, you know uh, a symbol for the uh, BRS party, and the pink color, which represents the party, is what uh, has been uh, set up on this vehicle here. The number of this car is written as KCR 420, and all the other, as you can see, hashtag bye bye uh, KCR uh, is the campaign that the Congress had been running, and the allegations on car. Kaleshwaram is also mentioned here, Kaleshwaram scam, paper leak, a Delhi leaker scandal a scam and also Geo triple one scam, Dharni portal scam, coal scam, ORR scam is what has been mentioned on this car and this car is right uh, here at Gandhi Bhavan here. This campaign has begun so let us talk and get to know in detail what exactly is the campaign about. Uh, so sir, uh, we are joined by Kiran uh, Chamala who is a, a, a Congress spokesperson and vice president of the TPCC. Sir, what is this campaign about? What exactly is the Congress doing? Main, this is bye bye KCR. Nine and a half years of his ruling, cheating people with the scams, promises not fulfilled. He is trying to get into power for the third time, giving again the promises made by the Congress. He copied the promises so that he want to make sure the people get diverted from the Congress attention. So we ourselves, one of our you know leaders, not only leader, the people of Telangana have given an idea and this is made by some NGO who is against happening in uh, whatever the happening in uh, Telangana 
they want to make something and they have presented this to us. There are few cars they have made and they will be canvassing across the state to How make sure. There, the there is about 10-15 cars. Okay. And these 10-15 cars will go the journal wise. And there will be like Karim Nagar, Varangal, Nizambad. Everywhere there will be this particular vehicle will be placed over there so that the people of that particular zone will see what exactly KCR has done to Telangana. The first commitment what KCR has given when he came into power, before coming power when he was in TRS, he is not interested in any political positions. His interest is only single agenda to make sure that he has to achieve Telangana. He will make a Dalit CM, but he never, he never did that. Rather, people of Telangana haven't got any jobs in the last nine and a half years because there is no notifications, neither they have no interest in doing this TSBSE also failed examinations by paper leaks and everything, but his family members, Kavita, Ketya, Arish Rao, Santosh and KCR, five members have got the employment in Telangana. Now he is again going third time into the elections by false propaganda. So remember Telangana where some of the most creative campaigns are coming in will be a very crucial southern state. The BJP will want to make inroads, the Congress will want to keep it like Karnataka and importantly of course the BRS has a stronghold in Telangana and that is why this state holds a lot of importance this assembly elections. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when data politics Koi ke se dula hua nahi hai. unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's hundred percent news that matters it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai Monday to Friday 9 p.m. only on India Today TV